Hello everyone. Now myself, uh, Dr. Vinita G M, uh, postgraduate uh, resident uh, second year, studying at KVC M C H uh, Medical College, Asulia, Karnataka. Uh, my uh, today my paper presentation is on the topic uh, diffusion weighted imaging effects of intravascular contrast agent on apparent diffusion co coefficient. That is ADC value measures in cases where in neoplasms. So my guide is Dr. Aishwarya K C, professor in radiology, Department of Radio Diagnosis, KVC M C H College. So coming to the introduction, we all know that ovarian tumors are the leading indication for gynecological surgery. So characterization of ovarian masses preoperatively is uh, cr very crucial for explaining patients about possible treatment plan, especially the surgical part. So MRI uh, plays an important role and it uh, is of great help in identifying the malignant lesions before surgery, particularly when ultrasound uh, findings are suboptimal or uh, indeterminate. So MRI can help uh, reveal uh, the morphological characteristic of lesion, including the papillary projections, nodularity, septae, solid portions, and signal intensity on T1 and T2 weighted images. But uh, based on these basic sequences itself, we will not be able to distinguish between the benign and malignant tumors. So there comes the role of division weighted imaging, where it can help us uh, to characterize the lesion, whether it is benign or malignant in nature. So diffusion weighted imaging uh, is uh, sensitive to changes in the micro diffusion of water into both uh, intracellular and extracellular spaces. So ADC values, that is differences in the apparent diffusion coefficient of benign and malignant uh, complex adnexal masses have been reported to have certain proven value in certain studies. So typically, malignant ovarian tumors demonstrate lower ADC values than benign neoplasms, reflecting the higher cellular density. And effect of gadolinium contrast studies on ADC measurements is not well understood. And previous studies have shown certain mixed results. And given the mixed results in the current literature, more information is needed to optimize MR protocols by determining whether performing DWI prior to or after the administration of contrast, whether makes it any differences for the evaluation of ovarian tumors. So aims and uh, objectives of my study is to determine whether ADC values of ovarian tumors measured at uh, 1.5 Tesla MRI uh, before and after administration of gadolinium contrast, this, this uh, makes any difference, and also to determine ADC values in cases of benign and malignant tumors. So metals and methods, I conducted my study at KVC MCH College, and it's a prospective study conducted over a period of five, uh, 15 months, and uh, study population included women with the newly diagnosed ovarian tumors who underwent contrast MRI to evaluate the nature and extent of the tumor. And uh, the sampling method included universal sampling and 40 patients were included in my study, among which uh, for the final calculation, four uh, patients were excluded from the data. So methodology of data collection, inclusion criteria, women from the gynecopathy who refer for the evaluation of ovarian neoplasms for the contrast in SMRI and uh, those with the normal RFT, that is normal creatinine, serum creatinine values. Exclusion criteria include failed, uh, patients who failed to follow up in an institute with histopathological reports and also pregnant women were excluded from the study. So methodology, MRI was performed at uh, Philips 1.5 Tesla machine using the dedicated MRI protocol. So basic sequences, all basic sequences like T1, T2, T, uh, T1 fat sat sequences were obtained. And diffusion weighted imaging was done before the administration of dynamic contrast and after nine minutes of uh, administration of dyna uh, dynamic contrast imaging. So data collection performed according to the hospital regulations after approval by the hospital authorities and also uh, consent of the patient was taken. Statistical analysis was done using uh, Microsoft Office Excel 2007 and IBSS uh, software uh, version 21. And uh, data uh, will be presented in the form of tables and percentages. A T test will be used to assess the statistical significance. So P value less than 0 0.05 will be considered significant. So results of my study include median age of the patients. Aged, uh, uh, the people were divided into different groups. That is 20 to 40 years, so 40 to 60 years, and more than 60 years. And we could uh, see that uh, patients were uh, more than age of uh, 60 years were 19 uh, patients and majority of them uh, were the patients who were uh, aged more than uh, 60 years. And ovarian tumors were categorized into two types, that is benign tumors and the malignant tumors. Benign tumors in my study were 21 and malignant tumors were 15 in number. And according to the size, so majority of the tumors were between 10 to 20 centimeters and uh, some a few tumors were also there which were which exceeded more than 25 centimeters in size. So coming to the results of my study, so that is basically I took the ADC values um, before the administration of contrast and after the measured ADC values after the administration of contrast in cases of benign tumors and uh, malignant tumors. So uh, according to the data, so which I collected, so benign tumors, number of lesions were 21. Among them, serous cystadenoma were 10, mucinous cystadenoma were 8, and others were uh, fibrothicoma, cystadenoma, fibroma, and benign tumors, one in uh, number. So pre-contrast ADC range for different uh, uh, type of tumor was uh, tabulated. And uh, we can see that for benign tumors, the pre-contrast ADC range was 0.48 to 2.21, and average being 0.48 plus or minus 0.6. And post-contrast ADC range ranged from 0.20 uh, to 2.32, and post-contrast ADC mean was 0.4 plus or minus 0.62. Uh, and the difference in the ADC 
between the for the ovarian the benign ovarian tumors pre contrast and post contrast was 0.08 that is 3.4% and p value obtained was 0.86 that is it is more than 0.05 so it is not statistically significant similarly we tabulated the findings for adc values for the malignant tumors and the, in, uh, in my study 15 malignant tumors were found among them six were six uh, serous histodema mucinous histodema were three in number two were uh, serous uh, borderline tumor other was mucinous borderline tumor uh, clear cell adenocarcinoma endometrioid adenocarcinoma and granulocyte uh, cell tumor so uh, the mean adc pre contrast adc value for the malignant tumors ranged from 0.91 to uh, plus or minus 0 0.20 and post contrast mean adc was 0 0.94 plus or minus 0 0.23 so difference in adc was 0 0.03 plus or minus 21 that is 1.6 percent and p value was 0 0.3 that is it is again more than 0 0.05 that is it is not again statistically significant so similarly the adc values were obtained for solid and cystic components separately for adc uh, in case of malignant and benign tumors in solid components we can see that the adc in the malignant tumors uh, the p value uh, before and uh, after uh, contrast administration was also not significant and uh, similar was the case in case of benign tumors and for the cystic components also the statistical uh, significance was not obtained so for the pre and post contrast imaging in cases of cystic components of a lesion so coming to the discussion of my study so uh, dwa is increasingly being incorporated into mri protocols due to its potential for improving characterization of ovarian lesions however controversy still exists regarding the effects of gadolinium based contrast uh, agents on the measurement of adc so in our study adc values were not significantly uh, different from uh, uh, dynamic contrast imaging mri sequences in ovarian tumors that is they were not statistically significant so which is in agreement with the majority of the previous studies that found no statistically significant change in adc values after the contrast administration and several factors of a study design may explain why ovarian tumor adc values were not uh, were not significantly affected by the contrast because there are some limitations of uh, my study so this is because uh, we investigated only a single uh, delayed post contrast uh, dynamic weighted imaging at a point uh, time of nine minutes after injection and one only one type of contrast agent was used that is gadopentate uh, diglomine other uh, agents may produce different findings and this was not in, uh, tabulated in my study furthermore the number of p values was limited due to the scan time restrictions and uh, we could uh, measure only uh, the adc values uh, of uh, diffusion weighted imaging of b0 and b800 only these two uh, diffusion weighted uh, values were included in the study. And gadolinium is known to reduce the signal to noise ratio. As a result, uh, the DWA images may have a lower SNR, closer to the noise flow, and result in an artificially increased or decreased or at higher B values ADC uh, evaluation. So, conclusion uh, of my study is that ADC measures using our approach were not statistically uh, significant or they were not significantly changed after the administration of ovarian tumors at 1.5 Tesla. MRI. So our findings support the possibility that uh, diffusion weighted imaging optimized may be obtained before or uh, even after the administration of contrast uh, MRI without compromising important clinical information. And uh, also we found in a study that benign ovarian tumors had higher ADC values compared to the malignant tumors uh, consistent with some of the previous studies. So I uh, also tell that uh, further studies are needed to support our study because our study uh, had a very limited number of uh, samples. Uh, so uh, finally, to conclude, uh, so the two conclusions uh, which were drawn from my studies that uh, one is that the benign tumors ADC are more when compared to that of the malignant uh, tumors and ADC values did not significantly differ uh, when measured before the contrast administration or after the contrast administration. Uh, so these are my references. Thank you. Thank you, Anandor. I especially thank uh, Honka Update CME 2022 and also IRIA Masterclass India for giving me this wonderful opportunity for my paper presentation. Thank you.